Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will talk about the labels. This is short tutorial how to create the background for your labels. It doesn't matter which type of the labels you have, we will talk only about the background for the labels and you will understand how you can, for example, to manipulate with that, change the color or something else. So as you can see on the my plan right on your screen, we have the blue color, for example, on our labels we can change to any colors which we want. So let's I'll show you how you can do that. So for that one you can open the new project if you are uh, a bit afraid, like can you do that from the zero to the end, or you can use the my files below this video. So uh, let's say you don't have any my files and you want to create the from the zero and we will do that. So let's I'll open the new file, new project. Uh, let's make uh, the equal situation like you don't have anything. So here is my uh, the f I like empty project. I will do here some room. Let's say I'll put, put here the some room. Here is my room. As you can see, I don't have any background now from the on the back side of on the my label. So let's change the situation. I'll select the my label. You can create the new label or you can edit uh, already the, some standard label. So this is doesn't matter. It's only up to you. I will go inside to the family. So here we are. As you can see, here is our room name, number and value or something else like value. Okay, so and I wanna only, for example, only the number uh, will change the color, I mean the on the background. So we need one more family and we will create it from the zero. Go to the file, find here the new, find family. And now we need category, it's called annotation. Let's, let's go to the annotation and here we will find generic annotation. So it's like generic model, you can use for every, if everything, but only for the text, so for the annotation. So let's open up it. Here we are. We don't need this the writing, so we, as you can see here, delete is not before using, so we will delete straight away. We don't need it. And how we can will control our color? Actually, pretty easy. We will use the fillet region. Let's use the fillet region, and I will use here the rectangular. Let's draw some rectangular. Rectangular, and as you can see, here is nothing. Here is the empty white color. Let's say OK, and you will see the black color. So it means our fillet region now working. So uh, let's select our uh, field region, let's go to the edit type and what we will gonna do. The first I wanna rename it. I wanna rename it and I will write like black. So it means it will be black color. Uh, let's duplicate it and let's say blue. Okay, this is blue color. And let's make like mm, gray. Gray color. Okay, so um, for the, uh, for, for example, for the pattern, uh, for the gray color, we should make the gray color. I will do the gray, gray color. Let's the, do the, maybe I will do the standard one. And for that one, I will use all the standard one, standard one. Okay, so, and now I will switch to the blue color and I will change here the, to the blue color. Now we are making uh, only the types to better change it. So now you can see the blue color, now I can change to the black one color, and now I can change to the gray color. So everything working. Uh, before we will finish, I need now align it. So let's align it by this way. I will lock it and I will lock it here. And now I need dimension. So I need dimension to make it more parameterized. So maybe my text will be bigger, maybe my text will be smaller. This will be changed too. So let's call it like W and make it instance, don't forget, so it should be instance and to do this one you should make uh, the H and let's make it instance too. Okay done, this is finished, now we can uh, uh, load inside to the, our, um, to the our room tag, so let's load it inside to the room tag, here we are and let's place it and now straight away we get the problem, so it's actually not problem, uh, our object it's not visible. Go to the visible graphic, just double uh, double uh, key to the uh, W, or you can go it like the manage, and here you will find mm, not manage view, sorry, visible graphic. Let's go inside to the visible graphic and straight away to the annotation category. And as you can see, show annotation categories in this view. It's off. We should make it on. Let's make it on. Let's say okay, and ta-ta. Here is our field region. Okay, so now uh, I prefer actually use again dimensions. 
uh, I will make dimension for that situation and for that situation too. And let's make the same thing. Here it will be W and you can leave it like a type 1 and here it will be H. So let's call it H. Okay, so we have two instance um, dimensions and let's transfer to the, our region these dimensions. H to H, I hope it's H to H, let's check it out, yeah, could be like this. Let's do the W here, yeah, everything working. And now we should align only the left side with left side and lock it and the bottom side with bottom side, done. No need to uh, lock everything because we locked inside the region only left side and the bottom side, so do same thing. Okay, so before we will continue, let's see how it's working. Actually, the tricky thing, if I will uh, switch on the preview mode here, you not will see anything. But this is not true. Let's load inside to the our uh, second project. So I will load to the second project, project number two, and I will replace it, of course. And you will see the background is working. So you can see the grayscale. But we will talk now about the other thing, like uh, what if you want to uh, change like the different colors uh, and you have uh, you want to have like different colors in one tag. So here is many uh, a bit tricky things and we will talk about uh, it right now. So let's go back to the our fillet region and now I will just copy a uh, few times, two times actually. Uh, my field region. Why I did that? Because we have the different colors. We have the blue, we have the gray, and we have the black one. Okay, the blue one is already uh, existing. Blue one already have the sun dimension, and I will just hide it. Just double click uh, HH, and I will hide it. Let's work with the black one. I will connect black one to here and here, and I will use again dimensions. So okay, from this side to that side, from that side to that side. Okay, here is my W parameter and here is my H parameter. But before we will continue, we will say this one will have the parameter visible like a black. So let's say black. I mean black. And say this is instance parameter. I want to transfer this parameter. Okay, this is black. Okay, so again, I will select this black color, double click HH, I will hide it. Again, a line, and let's use it for that parameter, for that uh, region, and let's use dimension again. So, as much as you have uh, the different color, you need to do it uh, one by one again. Anyway, once you will did it, uh, you will use it it's always. Okay, so I did it, and now again, I need the parameter gray for the visible. Let's uh, copy it and say gray. And don't forget again about the instance. Let's say OK, let's say OK, so done. Uh, let's, uh, we will uh, back with all our uh, colors. So I want to use now black, OK, I will hide it. Which this color, so this is black actually. And I need to parameter blue, I forgot about that. So let's say this is blue. And let's make it instance too. Let's say OK. Let's say OK and let's go now inside to the our family properties. As you can see we get our parameters black, blue, gray. Nice. Let's create the type of the name. So again, the type of the name easily black. So when is the type black? Only black color I can see. Okay. Let's create the new parameter blue. When it's blue, I want to see only blue. Let's say this one. And one more parameter, this is gray. When it's gray, I want to see only gray. Okay, so let's load inside to the our uh, room tag. Override existing one. Now let's work with the colors. Uh, now we are inside in the project, I will unswitch off the, oh, or we can leave it the uh, preview mode. So what we're gonna do, each our, uh, this is our color, have the uh, colors, yeah, this have the colors. Let's call it the same name, like gray. We will call gray. Let's make it type one. The blue will be blue, and black will be black. So this one will be blue, and black will be black. This is only to make it changeable. Black. 
Okay, and let's go now inside to the properties. And here it will be. Uh, this is we no need. And here we will have like black, blue, gray. I already have uh, some type of the name, so you can create uh, your type of the name. And for example, to the gray, I will make a gray. To the uh, blue, I will make a blue. To the black, I will make the black. So we did it. Let's say okay. As you can see, here is black. If I will change the blue, will be blue. And if I will change to the gray, will be gray. And let's load it inside to our project. Project number two. Let's load it inside and let's overwrite it. Okay, here is gray color. Let's uh, choose it. Aha, uh -huh, gray background. Okay, so let's choose the blue. Blue. Let's choose the black. Black. And we can again to the gray. So done. As you can see, this is really interesting how we can manipulate with the backgrounds and uh, it's the if you will once do that, uh, for example, text, room text, you will always can use in different projects. So maybe you needed some projects, maybe no need. Uh, you can switch off even. You make the parameter without the background and it will be usable to. Let's say we'll do one extra thing, how you can, for example, manipulate with that. Let's see, when I'm using, for example, my background black one, I cannot see the my text because the my color of the text is also black. So let's make it changeable, like you are changing the background to the black and your color of your text changing to the white. So this is interesting, right? Let's go back to the, our text, I mean the, to our room tag, and I will change it right now to the black one. No, let's leave it uh, as it is, or as we have right now, because I need the my text. Let's, I will hide this color, and as you can see, we have the, um, the here the text. I will copy it, I will copy it, let's copy it on the same position, like, um, let's say we'll copy it here, and I will make on on the same position. And here we have the visible, let's make, change the visible, to the new parameter. Let's call it a uh, white white number. And let's make it type one. Let's say okay. Let's say okay. And for the this text we will change uh we will we will go to the edit type and we will change the color. Don't forget we should duplicate this 3 mi 3 millimeter because uh, we will change the existing one. Duplicate and write white. Okay, now we can change the color. Let's change the color to the white. Let's say OK. This is now white. You cannot see because we have the black color now here. Let's go to the uh, our properties and we will get here the white number. So white number will be on only when we have the black color. Black color number white will be on. Blue color number white white will be off. So and let's gray off. OK, so uh the same the same thing we need make uh when it's black color we don't have the black text so well, let's change to the black color and our black text show uh, show room number should be be off let's make it off okay done uh let's unhide everything and as always i forgot one thing you cannot make always uh, totally white color because Revit not will work with the totally white color like you see can you see right now so this is black text yeah white text uh-huh black color so this is not will be work let's uh, select our white color let's go to the edit type and we will make just one percent just here we will make four now it will be work let's say okay let's say okay and ta-ta you can see white color Let's load inside to the project. Load second one. Let's load it. Overwrite everything. Ta-da! Here is my black one. Here is my blue one. And you can work with that and it's really cool. So, this family you will find below this video. Uh, if you are lazy to do it, if you are not understand something, you can use this family. Maybe you will uh, understand by yourself or with this real family. Uh, but don't forget about the like. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. To support my channel you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. 
And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.